What's up guys? I'm all of the above and today I'll be showing you how to make one of these Windex. Let's get started. So I was trying to find a Windex, which is just like a little surfboard that you use out the window of your car. And I was trying to find a DIY and I couldn't find a single one. So I decided to make my own. Okay, so the first thing I did was I got this page on Google. I just looked up surfboard coloring pages and it was just, it was right there. So I printed that out and then I copied it and put it to 45% and I got this. And so then I cut this out. So let's do that now. Now that we have this cut out, we're gonna take a container lid and cut out all the pieces that don't have bumps on it. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we have that cut out, we're gonna put a big magnet down and the surfboard down. Then we're gonna take the little magnets and just place them down. And this is to make sure that they don't move. Then we're just gonna draw out the outline. Let's do that. Okay, so now that we have that those two drawn out, we are going to cut these out. And we're not gonna cut out the outside of the black line, we're gonna cut just the inside of the line. And make sure you keep that middle free from cuts. And I made two because that's the thickness that I want because this is pretty thick already. On, the, on this one, I made six because it was super thin. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now that we have the cutouts, we will be sanding them. And that's for when we put them together, it'll give them extra grip, and so they don't slide around as easily while we're gluing them down. So let's do that. Okay, so now that I'm done sanding, it should look foggier than the original plastic that you cut it out of and it should feel rough. Now that I have this, I'm gonna glue these together and try to get it pretty perfect. Alrighty, now that you have that glued on there, we're gonna take some more sandpaper and sand down some of the rough edges. And I'm gonna make my edges more curved by taking the sandpaper and just folding it a couple of times, like so. There. And now I can just take this and put it in between these two pieces of paper and I'll just go back and forth with it like that. and it'll start to curve the edges. Okay, so now that we have this all sanded and smooth, we are going to take a straight edge and we are going to line it up with the point and the point at the tail. And then you're just gonna make two dots right at the tail. And then you're going to take a drill and drill those two holes out. Okay, so now that you have those two holes drilled out, we are going to sand again to take away all the little marker spots and if the drill lifted up any plastic. 
Okay, so now that we have this sanded and the dark spots are gone, we are going to put this in the water and we're just gonna, you know, scrub it and clean it and get all the dust off of this. It's all clean we are going to take either a strap like this one or a string rope that will fit between the two holes and whatever your top is so I'm gonna put this as my top and you're gonna go from the top and get through the, the front hole and then go through the back and then, you're going to wrap this through the loop. Like that. And then you're going to take a ring and do the same and wrap it through this loop. Or you can tie it, which is what I'm going to do for now. And make it big enough for your pinky to fit in and there you go that is a wind board or a wind deck and on my other one you can see it's curved right there and I did that by boiling some water and then putting it in there and I waited for a couple minutes and then I took it out and it was, I made it curved like that. So there you go. Hope you like this video. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.